this fall before it gets too cold, it's a good time to do a little bit of spot weed control around your yard. If you've been spraying Bermuda grass with a little bit of Roundup here and there and so forth, we sure want you to use the proper technique for doing spraying that's environmentally friendly as well. Now right here is where a lot of people will stop and mix up their pesticides and then when they're done they come back and clean up right next to the hose bib. But did you know that's actually the worst place that you can do that? Let me show you some better ways to do a cleanup that will keep pesticides where they belong, where they can degrade more rapidly in your own yard. Now the main reason that you don't want to be mixing or rinsing out pesticides and pesticide containers right by your water source is if you get in the habit of doing that you're going to end up with a nasty accumulation of pesticides over several years right by where your water source may be. And if you have a well in your backyard as many people in the Oklahoma City area have you'll end up storing pesticides or rinsing them out right near where they could go right down the well casing and end up contaminating that aquifer from which you're drawing your water. You always want to mix them and rinse them out on the site where you've been spraying. Now right here by our railway garden we have a mulched area that we've been treating with Roundup in different areas and a few tips I want to give you on finishing up a job and doing it correctly is first of all if you have a container that's empty, we finished up using this container of Roundup, you want to make that part of your tank mix. You're getting ready to spray, so the first thing you want to do is put the uh, prescribed amount in, the, in your spray container and make sure if you're using herbicide that you use one that is for herbicides only. And then fill this up with water and empty it into the tank three times. That will triple rinse your container and get it cleaned up for disposal. Then go ahead and bring it up to level and do your spray job. Use up all that you mix up. And so it's a good reason not to make up too much of a mix at a time. When you're done and you want to clean up the sprayer, again, don't go back to the hose bib and don't go near the, the pump house where your well pump might be. You want to make sure that you triple rinse this. So triple rinse your empty container, triple rinse the tank by uh, putting the hose, pouring some water in there, swirling it around and dumping that back near the site where you sprayed. Don't always be putting it down in one section. When you're done spraying, you want to hang this up to dry and put the container in the proper place of disposal. Now some places will be taking agricultural containers for disposal in different places around Oklahoma over the next few years. That's a special project that Extension's gotten involved with. For homeowners, you can still put a small amount in the trash, but do make sure that you triple rinse it first. And when you're done, make sure that you launder your clothing separately from other laundry that you have around the house and then run an empty washer full of sudsy water to get it cleaned out so that you'll do a thorough job of spraying and a thorough job of cleaning up. Well, thanks for joining us today on Oklahoma Gardening. Have a good weekend. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.